Doubles and coffee. Keith Christopher Rowley must be a nightmare for his personal attorneys. Keith Rowley, any attorney would tell you, especially if you have a proclivity for falsehood, if you're a pathological liar, to stay quiet. Keith Rowley made detailed statements on the Integrity in Public Life Act and is filling out, or lack thereof, of filling out his forms yesterday. Let me read for you what Keith Christopher Rowley said. The Prime Minister said there were two integrity forms, a form A and a form B, on which the person in public life is required to make declarations of assets and liabilities. He said form A is specific in that it says where to put townhouse and where to put condominium. And I have been doing what the form instructs. Form B is specific where you put land without building, without buildings on it. He continued lower down. He said, on form A, where you have to put out your properties in that list, it goes further to say townhouse and condominiums. Form B, you have to declare property, but the property you declare there is land without buildings. Well, the man has made a mess of himself because here is an Integrity in Public Life Act Form A. As you can see, right, this is the Form A, Confidential Form A. And let's be quite specific. Let's turn and see Section 1.1, what it says. Details of assets of declarant, spouse, and dependent children. One, 1. 1.1, 1. land and buildings, okay, including condominiums, townhouses and condominiums. Very good. But continue to the form A and you see 1.2, land without buildings. So first and foremost, there is no distinction in between condominiums and uh, townhouses and land uh, with, and form A. You have to put everything, okay? So Rowley's distinction does not exist except in his pathological mind. Let's also go to uh, form B. Now it's very important to see what is form B? What is the aspect? And this is the public form for public consumption. And Form B says, a statement of registrable interest, which means anything you have, any asset, any trust, any bank account, any bonds, any stocks, any land, any condominium, any building, any skyscraper, any plane, any vessel, anything you have, registrable interest, you have to put on this form. Okay, so Rowley is saying that on this form, the form B, he only put land without buildings and so on. It does not say that. And look where it says here. Statement of registrable interest. I have beneficial interest in the following lands. I have beneficial interest. It does not state anything about whether it have building, outhouse, townhouse, latrine house, skyscraper, tall building. You are to put all, anything that you have an interest in, any and all. I have beneficial interest. Keith Rowley, did you at the time have beneficial interest in an Inez Gate property? Yes or no? Did you put it in your form B? No. Therefore, you are in breach. You cannot come and decide how you interpret the English language. So you have form B, which is for public consumption of all registrable interests. And you have your form A, in which you have to put everything, whether condominium, skyscraper, land without building, land with toilet, however it is. So Keith Christopher Rowley, methinks you protest too much, thus too much, and you over-talk. There are many other issues, 
but I can't bring out all now. I'll give you in another doubles and coffee because there's another thing called benefits, gift or benefits that must be declared. So Keith Rowley, please explain to the people how you can read English because this form A, just to recoup, just to go over it a little bit, it says details of assets, land and buildings, including townhouses and condominiums. This is all on form A. And then part one, two, land without buildings, all on form A. So there is no distinction between form A and form B, as you're trying to state that you put it some on form A and form B. And just for your recollection and for the record, all registrable interests are to be put in form B for public. That's the whole point. That anything you are benefiting where you could profit, that your assets could increase and, and go up due to corruption, must be registered there. Any omission here is a breach of the Integrity in Public Life Act. Over to you, Ketos.